this was one of my eBay failures. Um, it's supposed to be a complete assembled MMDVM hotspot. And uh, from a Chinese supplier, isn't everything Chinese? Even if they say UK supplier, they're probably Chinese. Anyway, let's have a look. On the back, it says package contents, OLED display, Raspberry Pi Zero, MMDVM hotspot, TFT card, the shell, and the antenna. Hmm, funny that it, it says all these parts when it's supposed to be fully assembled. Anyway, let's have a look in the box. Now, I've, I've been fiddling with this, so it isn't quite as it was. Eee, there you go. So we have the shell. Come on, focus. And we have a pie hat. And we have some screws. And we have an antenna. And we have some destructions. And hang on. Where is the Raspberry Pi? And where's the TFT card? Which it clearly says should be in the box. So, that was the first failure. Uh, no Raspberry Pi. Anyway, I complained and after much toing and froing, um, it seems they didn't know what they were selling. And they, they did reluctantly refund me a little bit of money, but it wasn't enough to buy a Raspberry Pi Zero W. But luckily, I just happened to have one in the junk box. I didn't want them to know that. Anyway, this is the one I got. And these headers came in the kit and I've soldered them on today. These headers mate up with the corresponding ones on the uh, on, on the hat. Like, well, sort of like that anyway, you know what I mean. So let's see if I can assemble the thing. Yeah, it comes with an assortment of screws. You've got two long ones and two spacers and two short ones. Uh, there's absolutely no instructions for building this thing at all. You've got the, the thing, the bottom of the case, you've got all this stuff and you've got one of these. So which way does it go? Well, if you look, that's a short thing for the SD card. That's a long one for something or other, don't know what. And there's a long slot there, and there's a short slot there. So, I reckon it goes that way. Apologies about the focus, I can't get stop this thing from auto-focusing. Now, which screws do you put where? Well, the hat is supported on these two thingies here. So I reckon the, sh the long ones go in here to support the hat from the opposite side and the uh, short ones must go <laughs> here in these two. I'm going to have a go at doing that. So uh, let's see how successful I am. Now, I'm not as uh, ashamed to uh, admit that I'm no spring chicken. So these sort of um, assembly projects are quite difficult for me with my level of dexterity now. Magnetic screwdrivers, brilliant. Um, so let's see if we can get that in there. 
Yeah, it looks like looks like it's gone in. And uh, yes, that's good. Now I've got to be careful here. You don't want to. <coughs> excuse me. You don't want to blank these holes off. See, those are those are slightly offset. So it would have probably made sense to stick these screws in as guides before tightening the others. So, oops. I shall loosen those a little. And, uh, and pop these in just to hold the uh, Now I think there's a bit of an issue with manufacturing tolerances here because if you notice these screws are not exactly central in their holes. I loosened these off, pushed them as far back as I could and still these are a tight fit. So the gap between that hole and that hole is a bit short. Another issue which I did notice at the time was a slight excess bit of solder on the uh, on this pin here and I did wonder whether it would clear the board. It does just about clear but I don't like that so I'm going to have to take it off and redo that connection. know how difficult it is to get when you're soldering not to get a little spiky bit when you withdraw the soldering iron so uh, rather than faff around re-soldering it I just took a piece of sandpaper to it and sanded it off now the uh, there's not much protruding now so I think we can uh, try reassembling it I might just drill out these holes a little bit as well Okay, so I'm lazy. I don't want to get the drill out, so uh, I just ream the holes out with this. Very useful, actually. Well, that did the trick, and the screws now all line up perfectly. Uh, there's no play, but these screws went in with no problem so we'll just uh, tighten these up with the others in place you can see how small this thing is compared to my hands right there we go we can take these out now and um, we can probably then fit the, uh, the hat I got it right the first time and uh, wrong the second time these short screws must go near these sockets and the long screws go the opposite side because they will support the, the other side of the board these sockets support the one side of the hat and those pillars will support the other side of the hat so I boo booed again but it's probably because I'm trying to make a video at the same time as doing this and I just want to get on with it but uh, you know I'm making the mistake so you don't have to you can learn from my mistakes hence that's why the videos are so long incidentally this material it's for my next construction project which is another skirt I had plenty left over from the previous one so uh, I, uh, I'm going to make another skirt but I don't want to damage this 
so I've got to be careful with these sharp pins. Anyway, here's the uh, here's the hat, here's the board, and you've got to plug them together. Now I'm going to do that quite gently to allow a little bit of leeway on the other side because we've got to fit these paces and that's going to be a right old faff so we've got to put a spacer on there we and just a couple of turns and then try and fit the spacer to the other side It's gone, that's good. I hope this is coming out on camera. There we go. So we can uh, we can do those up now. And this is where it all goes crack. And you wish you hadn't done the screws up so tight. So there we have it. Now there's um there's a bit of protective film over this. Uh, do I do that now? I think I will. Oop, there you go. And the case is a really really tight fit, so this is going to be quite a uh, quite a problem fitting this. Um, you can see all the the bits left over from reaming out those holes. But basically that's got to fit on there. And it's a right flipping balava. There's two little thingies here. Um, they latch into these. There's no screws or anything, it just clips together. But it is really difficult. I don't want to break anything. I don't want it to suddenly snap together and, and break something off. See that's not lining up. If we push too hard then that would break off. <laughs> now I figured out why it doesn't line up. Now look at that. The um hat sits on those pins on the one side and the spaces on the other side are too short so the board is sitting at an angle that's a bit of rubbish isn't it not not very good at all how are we going to rescue that There's another thing I don't like about this, when that shell is put on, um, those, those connections, hang on, which, which side is it, those connections there are ever so close to the, uh, if I can show it, can you see how close they are to the top? I, I don't like how close they are. Not much clearance there at all. Well, it's better, but it's still not right. As you can see, that's, uh, that's a lot straighter. But the display... It's at a funny angle. It's not right. And I think the giveaway is here. You see how these are poking out? These pillars are too short. And I think um, we're going to have to pack them out.
with some little washers or something. It's in true Bodger's workshop style. I couldn't find any uh, any washers, so I cut some little cardboard ones. It's a right bodge. It has worked, and the uh, the screws are no longer poking out. But these little packing spaces, the job seems uh, the job seems a good and now. That's nice and straight. So hopefully that when you put that on will go through the hole. It's sort of looking like it will. But it's actually assembled okay. Everything lines up beautifully. And the slots. I've got no SD card in it at the moment. The question is, which of these is the power connector? Uh, so here we go, first power up. Lights flashing. Not a lot going on, nothing on the screen. As there's no SD card in, I can just pull that out. Let's try that one. Well, that one works as well. So it, it appears it doesn't matter which socket you use for powering it. That's good. I've downloaded a copy of Pi Star, the latest copy, and burnt it to a, an SD card and set it up. And now it's time to plug it in and see what happens. So here's the, uh, the power and immediately lights start flashing. You get a very slow flashing red light at first and after a while a little bit of activity starts on the on a little yellow lead down here. Literally is like watching paint dry this. It takes an inordinately long time to boot up. Oh, and now it's, it says start up and notice the, uh, the red LED has started flashing much faster. And after a while, start up will disappear. And that will be it. Don't oh, call me a liar, there it goes. And that's it. Nothing else happens. That screen. Which shows on, on some, um, some videos, it shows the screen scrolling sideways and rolling around, doing all sorts of strange things. It doesn't happen on this one. It just sits there. Dumb. But it does light up if, if somebody comes on DMR or if you go on DMR. It does light up, but it's particularly unimpressive. But then again, it's probably better because it's not taking up any juice, is it, while it's doing that? Anyway, I'm not going to bother talking about how to set it up or anything like that. That's been covered loads of times. This was only about the construction of a, of a ready-made MMDBM hotspot. Ready-made and complete, supposedly. What a joke, eh? Bye.